Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be an intuitive reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Leo signs. So the question is, have they moved on from you? Are they over you? This is actually a request reading from my community page and it's intended for those that need insight and guidance about an ex or ex-friend. May also be somebody that recently ghosted you. Please take the messages however resonates for you, okay? Thank you for all your support, Leo, and let's begin. We ask for insights and guidance, please, Spirit. Is this person over Leo? Have they moved on from Leo? What does Leo need to know about this person? see so leo this reading is geared towards the person that you guys have in mind right now okay bottom of the deck is the four of swords energy followed by the nine of wands the daughter of swords and the mother of cups energy so to be honest i feel like who you are dealing with they're not very so sure what it is that they want to offer you at this time we have the two of swords energy and the hierophant there's this energy of indecision going back and forth. Now, just be cautious here, Leo. I feel like this person is reaching out to you again. There might have been a very important news message or direct communication from this person that you've received recently. It's going to have a very strong emotional impact on you. All right, that's what I'm picking up with Mother of Cups. You see the Mother of Cups is covering up her cup. So you are taking this energy of caution, distancing yourself. You're not very quick to jump on the offer that this person is making because you're picking up. They're not very sure what it is that they want from you. All right. I'm getting that there's an impulse with the Harfint. There's been an impulse in the past from you, Leo, to accommodate this person, to respond to this person, to take what it is that they have to offer. But now it's quite different. How you're coming across right now, Leo, is that you are second guessing this person's intentions. You feel like there's something they're not revealing to you, okay? We have the Two of Swords. You feel like they haven't fully made their mind up and yet they're coming towards you. And that you're intuitively picking up that if you do take this offer and it's half baked somewhat, it's not fully decided. It's not something that they well thought of. It's an impulse, you know? A desire to reach out to you you feel like if you're gonna put yourself in that position that it might be a risk that you eventually will regret you know I feel that you're just right now at the moment observing this person thinking contemplating um, you're weighing your options at the moment as well I feel like there's this heavy stalker energy like this person can't get enough of you They've been watching you all this time that you both were apart from one another. And like you said, you may have received some type of message from this person. Um, and with the Two of Swords energy, there's this energy of coming out of denial here, Leo. I'm getting that you are confronting this in a rational point of view. You are distancing your emotions or emotionally detaching yourself and really seeing this in a rational point of view. You feel as though this person with Two of Swords energy, they can say something one moment, but the next they're so unsure. Their actions are not being followed through here. They can say something, but not enough to back it up. They're clearly not over you here, Leo. They want the idea of commitment with you. But you feel like they don't really have what it takes, what it really takes to make this work something happened in the past between you and this person we have the judgment card and the ten of wands yeah so this this really makes a lot of sense you feel like whoever you're dealing with they say things that they don't really are planning out to do they are not really thinking things over they are saying that okay i want this commitment with you but during the course of the relationship you felt like energetically you were putting more time love towards this relationship because this Ten of Wands can suggest there was a heavy burden on your end. Feels like you were sort of getting the short end of the stick. 
and the first card that came out in this reading is the four of swords which tells me that there was this very lax state somebody was sort of slacking off somebody wasn't really moving taking action to sustain to maintain the relationship and with nine of wands energy that was the burden and now you're laying down the burden with ten of wands i'm getting this you don't want to put yourself in that situation only to drain yourself out okay but you guys are fully aware that this person is not over you because they're still messaging you they're still watching your social media um they could still be finding some ways to talk to you they, they could be saying okay i'm gonna offer you this commitment but you think that it's only because you're moving forward with the judgment card a lot of you guys have taken initiative or taken steps to heal to purge release the connection there's been a rebirth process with you here as well leo where you're kind of like the phoenix rising above the ashes here empowering yourself reminding yourself of what you're meant to do here some of you are turning on a new leaf a new chapter in your life there could be something new that you're studying right now something new that you're pursuing right now you have um, faced a crossroad in your life like you think if you're gonna give this person another chance this might be something that you're gonna regret i don't know for some reason i'm getting that you're trusting your intuition though all right you're trusting your intuition on this one let's see we have the seven of pentacles energy all right so here's the thing i feel like i don't know why i felt this uh, strong strong feeling of um the reason why this person gave you a half-baked commitment in the past there were things that they were concealing from you um things that were holding this person back certain blockages things that were getting in the way from their end which I feel like they were so afraid of letting you know, all right? And you were not able to get a, um, a clear answer from this person. They made you wait at some point with Seven of Pentacles, but you may have found yourself doing something more extreme, extremely outpouring your heart in the hopes that this person is going to finally match the treatment that you were giving here. But now you're taking a step back, Leo reassessing and reevaluating what this person's intentions are once again for coming back around for reaching out to you for wanting a second chance with you let's see we have the ace of swords energy the five of wands energy the son of cups so you're saying to this person i can't wait around again for an X number of weeks or months for you to finally be ready for this commitment. You have to make up your mind is what I'm getting here. And with Five of Wands energy, this can suggest some type of competition. Like there could be somebody else in the picture here, Leo. Or they could be also telling you that they have options, they have choice. And just the fact that you know this makes you really question this person's intentions. Like... You know, if they really want to be with you, they should cut the other option out. Why are they making you wait if they really want to be with you? Okay, we have the Sun of Cups energy. So you have feelings for this person. But you feel as though they're very, very prone to emotional fluctuation. They constantly change their mind. Alright, like there's a heart versus mind situation here. It's like their heart is with you, but their mind could be filled with so many sort of distraction, temptation. This could be from other people that they're talking to. That's why they're making you wait with this commitment. Then one moment they can tell you, okay, I'm ready for this commitment. So I feel like this person is not over you here, Leo, but you're getting over them. All right. And it's easier said than done. I feel like this has been very painful for a lot of you guys, but you're trusting your intuition anyway. It's like you can't wait around for something to start if you clearly see that this person is not taking action and clearing the blockages with you. We have the Three of Wands energy. Yeah, another card of waiting here. And a lot of talk, but no action to back it up, you know? The Three of Wands is also you turning your back on the situation. It could be that the reason why this person is messaging you guys again is because you're turning back you're turning your back on the situation. I don't know if this person is hoping that you're going to wait for them. 
as they're fig as they're gonna figure out what their decision is. We have the Three of Pentacles energy. So again, there was somebody else in the picture here. There's a lot of threes in this reading. You may have met this person because of work. We have the Ten of Pentacles energy. All right, so this might be an older individual, Leo, somebody that could have been previously committed. It may not resonate for all. But it was something that they were struggling to release, even though it's it was with you that they felt this connection. It's like they couldn't free themselves from the past with judgment and a ten of wands. Something was weighing this person down. It could be fear of losing everything because there are so many things that were tied to that past relationship or marriage. We have the full card energy. Yeah, they can't just let go of everything and go in this clean slate with you, new beginning with you, new chapter with you. That was their belief though i feel like that was their fear we have the nine of cups but you are the person that they want to be with emotionally energetically with nine of cups but to you guys it's like you want something more than just words now um, you want to really be with somebody where they don't have to hide this connection they don't really have to juggle and make you wait you know you could have been waiting for them to finally let go of the past they also see you as somebody that have given them everything that they wished for in a real emotional connection with Nine of Cups. I feel like this person wants a new beginning with you with Judgment card. We have the Fool card here as well. Why is the Mother of Cups energy here? We have the Ace of Wands. Alright, so Ace of Wands energy, you still see the spark here though. There's still something that pulls you towards this person, Leo. But there's a stronger self-control here and awareness that it's just not the right time that perhaps this person is just rushing in but they haven't really fixed whatever is on their end all right it's like they could say something but clearly they're still blocked we have the eight of cups so you're walking away here you're moving forward so leo this may not resonate for all but this person is trying to stop you from walk away you know We have the Nine of Pentacles energy. They don't want you to be with anybody else. They don't like the idea that you could be seeing somebody new, that you're single, you're open to dating. We have the Knight of Pentacles or the thought of somebody else with you. Ace of Cups, yeah, new love. But Leo, you could be with somebody new or you're about to meet somebody new. And this Harfant doesn't want to let you go. All right, but they're too undecisive too. It's like a, a weird energy where they want you, but they can't completely be with you and they don't want you to be with anybody else, but they can't be with you right now. We have the Page of Cups energy. This person may have children as well. All right, or like I said, you could be younger than this person. We have Page of Cups. You make them feel young. All right, you give them so much hope. I feel like you're trying to be realistic now. You're being really rational and realistic. Enough of the daydreaming of hoping, like you're really seeing something. Very clearly, you're grounded in reality here. As much as you feel for this person and you hope that they follow through with their words, unless you see firm action and concrete steps from this person, you're going to hold yourself back from giving them a second chance. Also, if they're not letting go of the other option here is what I'm getting. We have the Eight of Pentacles energy. You're working on yourself right now. There's something new that you're very, very focused on. You're also with Eight of Pentacles, very, very focused on working on yourself, healing, purging the past. We have Ace of Swords. All right, so Ace of Swords energy is having a razor sharp mind, thinking things in a rational point of view. You're also speaking your truth here, Leo. I feel like a lot of you guys will really tell this person the truth of your feelings and create healthier boundaries. You both are not completely over each other, but there's a stronger conviction in you of choosing another path. Like you cannot put your life in a halt and keep putting the work in for somebody who's giving you the short end of the stick right now. 
You want a full-blown commitment here, Leo. You deserve that. You know that. You know your worth here. So even though you still care about this person, this is the reality right now is what I'm seeing. Why is the Ten of Wands energy here? We have the King of Swords. So you're cutting them off. As cold as it may be, you're just not having this push and pull on and off situation with this individual. I feel like you're standing up for yourself here, speaking your truth. You're freeing yourself from this cycle because something feels like it's going around in circle. You know, you don't know if you are improving or you're, you know, if it's going upward or it's going downward. It's been in this state for a while, just holding on to the current status quo. And it no longer fulfills you because with Hangman, there's been an awakening on your end, Leo. We're seeing things in a rational point of view. We also have here the Two of Pentacles energy, which is the juggler. So suspension, not a lot of action being taken from this person. They're still juggling here. But the thing is, you, you're the one who's changed here, Leo. This person may not have changed. The circumstances may not have changed, but it's you that's, that's changing. There's a rebirth process here for you. All right, and you definitely want a new beginning here. There could be somebody new coming in, new love with Ace of Cups. So that's what I'm seeing for your reading, Leo. Please take this however resonates for you. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm sending love and light and namaste.